What is going on guys, Juno Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where we are showing the top 3 Town Hall 10 attack strategies right now for 2019. Starting off with, in my opinion, the third best attack strategy at Town Hall 10, the Drag Bat. So you can see the majority of the army is built up of dragons and the bat spell used to be a lot more overpowered than it is right now, but it is still used against a huge amount of bases. Now you can see in this one, the sweepers are pointing down to the bottom of the base, trying to protect them air defense. So we push the dragons in from the top. The king creates a funnel on one side, whilst the queen creates a funnel on the other to allow the dragons right the way through the base. That is the basic premise of it. If you can keep the dragons out of the way of the air defense, multi-infernos work perfectly for this so long as there's an area for the bat spell. And as you can see, as the dragons come through, once they start getting to the center of the base and we can use the bats in order to help out, they come on this left hand side of the base where there's not much splash damage, that rage spell comes in and they start to sweep through the rest of the base, taking down these air defense which are ever so deadly against the dragons but if you can sweep through them with the bat spells it works incredibly well and as you can see on this one the base is absolutely crushed so whilst it's not as overpowering as it used to be it still works against a variety of bases and you will still see it in the meta now if you haven't already guys be sure to subscribe to the channel be sure to hit the notification bell as well well, that is the only way that you will be able to stay up to date with all of my videos. Now for the top two Town Hall 10 attack strategies of 2019, I'm actually going to show you two different variations of them. And honestly, guys, these go hand in hand. It all depends on how skillful you are at the game. Now, I've done this video previously, and many people have said, no way, the Hog Riders aren't the best. The Lava Loon is better. And from this one, I am going to agree with you for a few different reasons. We will explain that in these different attacks. So we have Jackadunga of Crunch Time coming in with the Mass Hog Rider. Again, I will show you two different variations of the Hog Rider strategy, but in essence with this one, uses the Stone Slammer to take out this area of the base with the heroes. That includes the end enemy clan castle troops and the enemy queen. Two very important things to get down before you bring in your hog riders. Notice how we're also able to take out some of these splash damage defenses here as well. Again, very important when using the hog riders. And the single infernos, which are a little bit more deadly for them drag bat attacks, especially if you're pushing in with the dragons from that area, really doesn't matter too much for the hog riders. Jackadunga has all of the heal spells for the Hog Riders. So the entire army is Hog Riders. Just almost use the Sui Hero and Sui, well, the Sui Stone Slammer. I was going to say Battle Blimp there because the Stone Slammer was the Siege Machine which came out most recently. And as you can see, decides to swag two heal spells there as well. So really could have crushed this base even easier. The one thing you have to make note of guys is the cleanup. Make sure you do have them troops just pinching in from either side in terms of the wizards in order to help you out. And with the queen in the center of the base here taking out them final few buildings, you really need to take note of that as well. If there's any buildings on the inside, your wizards on the outside might not be able to get it. So we will move back to the Hog Rider attack right after this one. Be sure to leave a like if you are enjoying it. But the number one attack strategy, yes, I agree with you guys, it is the Lava Loon. But I think you could argue this either way. The Hog Riders, they are incredibly powerful and they're a lot easier to use. The Lava Loon is a more difficult strategy to use, but 
if you want to upgrade to Town Hall 11, then 12, it is going to be the one that you want to try and practice. So the first technique we're going to show you here is the Queen Charge. Then again, we will show you another variation of the Lava Loon. Queen comes in from the north of the base. Now notice how we're waiting until this air defense goes down before we then bring in the healers. In comes one balloon just to test in this area if there's any black air bombs and make sure that we are protecting them healers. Then they come in from the side. So what is the queen going to get here? Well, what you always want to try and take out with your queen charge at Town Hall 10 is the CC and the queen itself. So as you can see, we're pressing into this area. Very nice freeze onto the multi inferno allows them wall breakers in. Otherwise, the multi inferno will fry your wall breakers. Poison on the CC allows the Queen to take that down and you must get this rage spell correct look at this how the rage just encompasses the healers and allows as the Queen moves forward for you still to get that healing ability make sure you get them rage spells on point this rage spell helps us through the rest of that CC and onto the enemy Queen as well before popping that ability now all of these attacks are by crunch time in our 50 versus 50 friendly war against Forge from Steel. Stay tuned guys, we do have some important and exciting announcements coming up, but if you're interested in joining crunch time, maxed Town Hall 11 and 12 players are currently what we are recruiting. Now notice the jump spell here, fantastic to allow the Queen that little bit further in if you do have the ability to take out more value with the Queen. If you can keep her alive with that Lava Loon, it's going to be helpful. And we've actually taken out both the sweepers which were in the center of the base, so we can now start the Lalo anywhere we wish really coming from the top of the base mainly because the queen is still helping to wipe out the bottom here we might as well come from the other side and look at all of the loons left over far far too many so overpowering that is why it is the best attack strategy at Town Hall 10. Now again, we're going to flip back to the Hog Riders, show you a variation of the Hog Riders, then a variation of the Lava Loon. And I've got to tell you, the first two versions we have shown you have been the more complicated versions. The next ones that we're going to show you are probably a little bit easier for yourself, but let's get into it. So base number 38 it is for the next Hog Rider attack. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Do you agree with my top three? What do you think? Now for this one, we're doing a Kill Squad Hog Rider. We actually have two golems here and one at the top. So three golems. What that means is we're going to press very deep into the base. We're going to be trying to take out, look where the queen is. She's right the way in there. So we need to take all of this out. That's why we need the three golems. The wall wrecker is probably the best siege machine for this. If you don't have the wall wrecker, it is still able to be done. You've just got to factor in jump spells, wall breakers, whatever you might need to use. But yes, it's going to be more difficult. Look at the wall wrecker presses right the way through the base obviously the town hall right over on the other side of the base here allows the wall wrecker through and what do we get from that kill squad well again we've taken the cc we've taken the queen we've actually taken out a heck of a lot of splash damage but more importantly for the hog riders and for the lava loon we've taken out a section of the base meaning that as your hog riders come through you know exactly where they're going to go and you can use your heal spells wisely so look at this heal spell for example right over that area where the bomb tower is which is doing splash damage and encompasses that area by the single inferno where there could be giant bombs but again here is another great example the heal spell actually encompasses the entire area of defenses and that's purely available because of the kill squad we have again you do want your cleanup troops coming in and with the hog riders a key point that i haven't made notice how the queen here is still alive if you can protect your kill squad whether that be your heroes or your other troops coming through you want to try and do that so you might have to adjust where your hog riders are coming in from and what i mean by that is if you plan to bring in your hog riders let's say on this one from the north of the base but your kill squad came down to the south for some reason you might then want to bring in the hog riders from this area in order to protect them in order to help with cleanup they can sometimes help with some of them remaining defenses 
On to the final attack of this video, and it is going to be the Electron version of the Lava Loon, which is brilliant. It really is. In essence, it's using a kill squad uh, or a suicide method of the kill squad in order to get the queen and a chunk of the base. So as we come in with this one, what you will see is that where the queen is, the sweepers are pointing up to the north, which means if we press in from the south here, we can actually get to the queen and take out this area with the electron. So that's what we're doing. We can't use the battle blimp because the town hall's in the bottom, but sometimes with the electron, it's not just the battle blimp, you know. Make sure you're thinking about the stone slammer. We actually take out that archer tower first and get the stone slammer into that area. Crush the queen with the electro dragon. Obviously, at town hall 10, you cannot clone the electro dragon. It is purely to take out the queen. The balloons then help to take out some defenses in this area, and again, once we get to the lava loon portion we know we don't have to worry about the south now let's move across to this side notice again the multi inferno if we do not have a free spell for that then we wouldn't be able to get in with war breakers unfortunately we actually fizzle out on this one with the king and queen but if you wanted to take wall breakers here for example make sure you are freezing the multi inferno otherwise you wouldn't get in however moving across to the lava loon portion we've used the suicide method on this one so taking out this area with the heroes taking out this area with the stone slammer now again try and come in behind the sweepers so they're pointing up to the north that's why we're starting at this area reinforcing the lalo this way because we'll have then taken that sweeper out as you can see the balloons come forward and they are going to take that down lots of spells for this area now yes we used the clone spell initially but we have the majority of spells for our loons and we actually sneak a lot of them across the back and onto this air sweeper which is quite important guys coming down to the end of it though this is where you have to be careful and where you need the practice with lalo one wizard tower two wizard tower plenty of red air bombs you're gonna have to be careful here we have a haste a freeze and a heal for this final area again the freeze could have been used on this multi inferno to get us in but it just depends on how you go about it make sure you're thinking about cleanup we do have minions merged in with the lava pups you can take um or save balloons as well for the back end in order to try and distract the wizard towers for example bring one of them in so that it doesn't hit the pack of loons coming through and if you don't need it you can then use the loons for cleanup but that wraps it up for this video i hope you have enjoyed it until next time guys peace out